Good morning, friends. Today, I'd like to do something that I've, I've done a few times before, I think, but it's not usual. But it's I want to read to you from Spurgeon's Morning and Evening Devotions, specifically from his entry for the morning of March 18th, which would have been this past Monday. The reason why I want to do this is because I was in the Dominican uh, this past Monday, and I read this passage or this, this uh, text from Spurgeon, and it made a world of difference for me in really my entire spiritual life to realize these things and especially what was happening in my own heart and mind uh, there at the beginning of that missions trip. So please let me read this to you now. Um, the devotion is based off of Galatians 3.26 which reads, For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. And so Spurgeon writes, The fatherhood of God is common to all his children. Ah, little faith, you have often said, I wish that I had the courage of great heart, that I could wield his sword and be as valiant as he. But alas, I stumble at every straw and a shadow makes me afraid. Listen, little faith, great heart is God's child, and you are God's child too. And great heart is not one bit more God's child than you are. Peter and Paul, the highly favored apostles, were of the family of the Most High, and so are you also. The weak Christian is as much a child of God as the strong one. And here Spurgeon quotes some lyrics. This covenant stands secure, though earth's old pillars bow. The strong, the feeble, and the weak are one in Jesus now. And then he continues. All the names are in the same family register. One may have more grace than another, but God our Heavenly Father has the same tender heart toward all. One may do more mighty works and may bring more glory to his father, but he whose name is the least in the kingdom of heaven is as much the child of God as he who stands among the king's mighty men. Let this cheer and comfort us when we draw near to God and say, Our Father. Yet, while we are comforted by knowing this, let us not rest contented with weak faith, but ask, like the apostles, to have it increased. However feeble our faith may be, if it is real faith in Christ, we shall reach heaven at last. But we shall not honor our master much on our pilgrimage, neither shall we abound in joy and peace. If then you would live to Christ's glory and be happy in his service, seek to be filled with the spirit of adoption more and more completely until perfect love shall cast out fear. Amen, brothers and sisters. This is a wonderful reminder to us that God is gracious. He is good. And those he claims for himself, the Lord Jesus will never let go. He will not lose a single one of us. Our faith, as long as it is genuine faith received as a gift from the Father, is saving faith. And we are so very thankful for that. But as Spurgeon notes here, even as we receive the comfort of knowing that we are children of God, even if we struggle, even if we have weakness, may we always pray to the Father and beseech the Son, even as the disciples did, that our faith might increase. Then we can honor God and glorify him all the more and have just that much more confidence and joy and assurance of our own salvation, which leads us to strength to do all of the good works that he has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. I love you guys. Please have a good and godly day and Lord willing, I'll see you soon.